live my computer is kind of like frozen right now so i don't know give me a sec come on computer the one time i need you come on oh shit I gotta love when your computer decides to freeze randomly. Come on. Well, I'm kind of going with the assumption that I'm live. No, stop. No intro. How much I love the intro, don't. Okay, I'm just going off my phone at this point. Tell me that I'm a stream manager. So I'm thinking I'm live. I don't know how the audio is, because my computer is being weird, but welcome back. We're going to load back in, or well, I'll try to fix my laptop, hopefully. Come on. Well, Dusty left the Phoenix Wings to recover from exhaustion that had built over the past few days. Thanks to Major's kindness, they had the building largely to themselves so they enjoyed a relaxing dinner and soak in the springs. And after agreeing to that, that, they would discuss what to do next the following afternoon. They returned to the rooms to sleep. Oh, my computer's doing something. I didn't know what I needed to, though. Once again, I have a huge snoring. That's my dog. He's kind of asleep. Hmm. Oh, this is that scene. I'm tempted. I have an idea. It's so peaceful tonight. Everyone's probably fast asleep by now. We might have spent our time apart in different ways, all with different things on our minds. But we're flying back together as a class. It was easy to get this far, but we have one less thing to worry about now. And I owe it all to Lisa's support and encouragement. Thanks to her that I've been able to make it this far. Hang in there, Elise. I'll bring you, you and Princess Alphen back safely. I promise. Rain, can you help me fix my laptop? <laughs> it's not letting me do things. Wait... Does it have some life? Come on... <sighs> this damn laptop, man. Oh... There's a loading. Do I have hope? I have to wait. Oh, I'm sorry, I see the Twitch home screen. Come on. I like how just like a minute of this... Three minutes of this has just been me trying to get my laptop working. <laughs> it was working beforehand and then started streaming and nope. And, I'll do, and when I do, I'll be sure to thank you again for giving me all I need to come as far as I have. We still have to sit down and discuss what, to, what we're going to do from here on out too. Can you figure something like that out by tomorrow? I gotta bring at least some ideas to the table. But what? I'm happy we're together again, but we've got a lot to decide on our future. And it's something we decide as a team. Yep, the squad. Everyone's had their own challenges to face and to conquer. But each of them, each of them fate, each of them face what they were, ugh, can't speak. But each of them face what they were going to give, given head on. And we end up apart, but no one lost hope. Instead, everyone trying to make the best of the circumstances they were dealt with. And I'm still trying to get my computer. <laughs> Thinking back on the ends, I think the one who had the strongest impression was... Alright, so with this you can actually invite anyone to the, you know, uh, thing with you. So I'm tempted to just reload it so you can pretty much watch everyone's. But we're gonna go cannon and go Laura. We're gonna go cannon. Here. Well, at least our version. I think it has to be Laura. We may not know where her father is, but she really stood up and defended the grandma's place to the best of her ability. 
And that couldn't have been easy for her with how worried she must be. Hang on. Give me a sec. Come on, computer. Now once she let her worry stop her from doing what she needed to be done, and she proudly fought to protect her home. I wish I could be like her. I wish I could be that strong. Reen. Yep. Hey. More hot spring scenes. L Laura! I, I don't think anyone else would come here so late at night. night. Sorry, I'll get out now. You don't have to apologize, Reen. I should have checked if someone else was inside before coming in. Truth be told, I was thinking the same thing. I thought it would be empty by now. And my Twitch is not responsive. God damn it, Chrome. Still, this might make for the perfect chance to sit and talk, no? Oh, you still want to come in? There are a few things more pleasant than relaxing in a hot spring while gazing up at the wintry sky. Mm, that tingle of warmth returning to my fingers and toes is particularly nice. Y yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's my favorite time of the year to relax in the springs too. I'm nervous. But never mind that. Are you sure you're comfortable with both of us being here, Laura? It's pretty late, and with the two of us, it's kind of... Uh, Well, I am modestly covered, so I don't think there's a problem, per se. Although I'd prefer if you didn't look at me quite so pointedly. <coughs> it's embarrassing for me to be here, too, I hope you realize. Tr true I wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry. Anyway, Be you said you wanted to talk, over. right? Hang on. Come on, Twitch. Please. Yes, I might have a shot. Come on. Yes, it works. I've been waiting for it. Uh, and it froze again. Please don't. Please, please don't. Was it about anything in particular? Well, I wanted the opportunity to say thank you. You're oh, there's an echo. Me? For what? Well, now I can't adjust my audio, because now I can actually hear it. I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. Uh, hey, one. Everything, I suppose. That good? Yeah, that's good. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to the Graham to find us. Crow may not be with us. But you're the reason the rest of us are together again. Why is it echo? Hang on. Let's see about the, if I adjust this. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> well, it's understandable that you'd feel that way. Still, I believe Class 7 is only what it is because... You are at its center. You were the one who stood right back up and fought, and it's because of that we were able to make it this far. That's what I feel, and I know that's how the others feel too. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> hey, Owen. There, I think that's probably a better title. I think what I'm about to, I'm probably gonna be doing this stream. Uh, I'd rather you didn't laugh at me. So I'm just gonna reload it and took do everyone's scenes. a lot of scenes. courage to come in here and tell you that, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. 
I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. No one. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. Uh, so I yeah, couldn't help mess, but laugh though. at myself. You know, that's how you know it's Monday. <laughs> I see. In that case, be sure that you never forget what I said. We've been through so much together. The bonds formed between us will not be so easily broken. Don't worry. I won't forget. Until, you know, the next game happens, you forget basically everything. Now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. Because literally, you can, if you choose your girl in the first two, third one doesn't count. Reset. Really, it only matters in the fourth game who you choose. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Of course. Alright, there's the first scene. Bomb Thor strengthened. Uh, 12-12. Damn, my dog's snoring loud. The Phoenix Wings. There's the mansion. It's going to turbo mode the pan. Yeah, okay. I mean, the Phoenix Wings cafeteria is until this afternoon. It means I have plenty of time to figure out what we can do beforehand. Maybe it helped ask us about what's on the mind still. Yeah, sounds like a plan. See some bonding points. Yep. Whoa, seven. Well, damn. We're gonna reload. I'm just gonna skip through all this. To go by quicker, because I read most of this. Alright, so we're gonna go pretty much do it from the top down. So it's, it's Elisa. I think it would be Elisa. She's been herself more than anyone about how we parted in raising Trista. Actually, how worried she was for me. Even now, I'm sure she's worried about the, her mother and the Ryan Friend company. But she's still putting everyone else's first, just like she always does. She did all she could to bring us together again. Wish I could be like her. Wish I could be that strong. Rain, are you there? And uh, here we go. Here she comes. Uh, Elisa, I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. There's no need to shout. I, um, I actually already knew that you were here. I'd asked the manager beforehand. Sly girl. So I thought now might be a good time to talk with you. Um, pardon? She got a little devious side to her, she already knew. There's really nothing like a warm bath on a cold winter's day. Gazing up at the night sky, feeling the warmth of the spring coursing through your whole body. This is such bliss. I actually would love to sit in a hot spring uh, yeah, just to chill. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It, it's my favorite time of year to relax in the springs too. Oh, my dog woke up. But both of us bathing in here together is really, really not a good idea. Doesn't it bother you even a little? The two of us here alone feels kind of... I don't know. What's the big deal? I'm covered up, aren't I? I'd appreciate it if you didn't stare so hard, though. God damn it, Rain. I might have managed to pluck up the courage to come in here, but it's still kind of embarrassing. W well... I... wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry. But what made you need to pluck up the courage to come in here to begin with? You said you wanted to talk. Anything in particular? Well, um... I just wanted to thank you. Thank me? Thank me for what? I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. You have, though. And for everything, really. 
I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to Nord to get me. Maybe we can't be here with Crow, but because of you, the rest of us are back together again. Because of me? That's not true. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Still, I feel like Class 7 is what it is because you're at its center. Of course he is. We had faith that you get back up on your feet and fight. And it's because you followed through that we've come this far. I'm not the only one who feels that way either. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> oh, come on! Knock it off with the laughing! Wasn't easy to come here and say all of this, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> well, I can accept that. And now that you know, I don't want you to ever forget it. We've been through so much together, Reen. We have a bond so strong, nothing can ever break it. Don't worry. I won't forget. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Of course. I always want Rain to go after that get everything we got line to go into It's Punishment Time Monokuma style. Uh, skip. Yep. And back to the reloads. And my dog is still snoring. Elliot, you're too boring. Laura did you. In my case, I hate you. Yeah, Emma, why not? I think it would be, have to be Emma. All this time she's been fighting alone and unable to tell us her true identity or why she was doing what she did. That must have been so hard on her. Did she feel like an outsider? Was it like never able to ask for our support? Yet she did all she could to fulfill her duties as a witch, while being a loyal and kind classmate to us. I'm not going to do everyone, we'll do characters who I actually give a shit about. So basically not Elliot, Machias, or uh, useless. Everyone else though, sure. Wish I could be like her. Wish I could be that strong. R Rain? And she let the hair down. Uh, Emma? I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. No, no. You shouldn't have to do that. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that anyone was in here. So, at least the bother to ask. This might be the perfect chance for us to sit down and talk. Pardon? Seriously, only one person actually bothered to ask. Ah, uh, it um, it feels wonderful to bathe here during the winter. I love the feeling of warmth coursing through your entire body while relaxing. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's my favorite time of the year to relax in the springs too. But never mind that. Are, are you sure you're comfortable with both of us being here, Emma? It's pretty late, and with the two of us, it's kind of, um... I, uh, I see what you mean. Still... I'm modestly covered, so I don't think it's too much of a problem. Seriously, why does everyone use the word modestly? Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't stare at me so much, however. God damn it, Rain. Although, I can't blame you too much. I'm the one who decided to come in to begin with. Uh, oh. Whoa. I wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry. Anyway, you said you wanted to talk, right? Was it about anything in particular? Yes, as it so happens. I wanted to thank you, Reen. Thank me? Thank me for what? 
I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. <laughs> well, everything, I suppose. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for hot coming so all the way to the Gram to get us. Crow may not be with us, but you're the reason the rest of us are together again. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was able to do anything at all. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. Everyone contributed something in some way. However, I believe Class 7 can only be what it is with you at its center. We all believed you would get back on your feet and fight. And it's because you pulled through that we made it this far. I feel that way, and I know everyone else does too. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> oh, here comes a weird laugh. Uh, p please don't laugh. It took a lot of courage to come in here and tell you that, you know. Apparently it takes a lot of courage for everyone to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, and Twitch or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. Oh, I, I you just see. realized that, Rain? Come on now. Our bonds are stronger than you realize. They won't be broken so easily, Rain. I hope you never forget that. Don't worry, I won't. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can I mean, make that a reality. So, yeah. let's give it everything we've got. And once of again, course. my computer has taken a shit on itself. Come on. This is the one time you usually work is these like two hours I stream. That's the one time. It was perfectly fine before I started doing this too. And uh, link level up. Scoop. And it's starting to work again. Alright. Load. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah. So the next will be fee. I think it has to be Fee. She made the most of the experience as a former Jaeger to support Malankis and Elliot in their efforts. It seemed really difficult for her, seeing members of her old core are now working with the Noble Alliance now. She fought her hardest to protect her new family, or class, even from opposing her old one. I wish I could be like her. I wish I could be that strong. I'm coming in! At least she's blunt, unlike the other people. She's like, yeah, I'm coming. F Fee! I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. No need for that. I came because I heard you were here from the manager anyway. Okay, two people have asked. You did? Seriously, how is it that hard mm, to ask the manager? It's really great being in here during winter. I bet I could take a nap here. I suppose. Winter's my favorite time of the year to use the springs because of how relaxing it is. Wait, though. I'm not so sure it's the best idea for us to be bathing alone together, Fee. You're not bothered at all? <laughs> Why would I be? When I was in the Corps, we'd sometimes all get into a hot spring together. The guys and the girls. P point taken. She did say that they were all like one big family. You said you came because you knew I was here, right? Any particular reason you wanted to hang out? Because I forgot to thank you. 
Thank me? Thank me for what? I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. <sighs> you couldn't be any more oblivious if you tried, could you? Yeah, at least he's blunt about it. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And for coming all the way to Keldic to get me. Crow might not be with us, but it feels like the rest of us were only able to be here now thanks to you. Thanks to me? I don't know if I agree. Besides, all of you guys are the reason I've been able to do anything at all. Oh, I know. Still, I think our class is only how it is because you're at its center. It's only because we could believe you'd get back on your feet that we're all here now. That's how I feel, and I know that's how everyone else feels too. So, thanks. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fee's bluntness is one of the main reasons why I think she's one of my top like three characters in the Treasure Cold Steel series. That she's wasn't supposed to be funny. Maybe a little overblown, but not half as cheesy as some of the things you've said. That's very fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. I mean, you're so blind you make me look kind of 2020 vision. And for the record, I have terrible vision. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. Oh. Huh. Well, make sure you don't forget it. We're all friends. And that's not gonna change anytime soon. Don't worry. I won't. Like, no lie, I am blind as a bat without my glasses. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yep, yeah, level up. Alright. And we load again. Uh, I think I'm only doing the characters like I'm uh, actually interesting. Cause sorry, Elliot's too boring. Uses my guess. I just hate. So Gaius, we get some bro time now. I think it would be Gaius. He must have been horrified and scared when the flames of war threatened his beloved homeland. He never ran away. He did all he could to attack Nord. As he's, now he's doing the same for the Empire, even though it means leaving his family behind once again. I wish I could be like him. I wish I could be that strong. <laughs> so this is where you were. Why did they come to the other side? At least they changed it up for the guys and girls. Oh, hey! I didn't think anyone would be swinging by this late. I figured everyone would be fast asleep by now. Well, I noticed you leaving your room, so I thought I'd see what you were up to. Do you mind if I join you? Sure, go right ahead. Yeah, that didn't sound kind of wrong at all. Hot springs truly are a wonderful part of this nation's culture. I thought as much last time we came here. But relaxing in one during winter is even better. <laughs> this is my favorite season to use the springs too. Still, what made you want to come back in here? I mean, I know it's nice and it's not like I can talk, but we were all in here earlier today. That's true, but I thought it would be easier to talk with you if it was just the two of us. I'd like to thank you, Reen. Thank me? Thank me for what? I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. For everything, I suppose. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to Nord to find us. It was only thanks to you that we were able to come together again, even if it is without Crow. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Besides, it was only because of all of you that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> I can see why you'd feel that way. Still. I believe Class 7 is only what it is because you're the one at its center. You created your own wind, carved out your own path. 
And we believed in you every Trade step of the way. Win. Ain't you just a fart? It's the reason we're here now, fighting. And I know everyone else feels the same. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> oh god, here comes the laugh again. <laughs> I guess that might have been a slightly overblown way of putting it. Although, if anything, I think I might have gotten that habit from you. <laughs> yep, that's I'm fair. sorry, I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time, so I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> I see. The bond we all share won't be broken so easily. Of that, I'm certain. I hope you'll never forget that. Don't worry. I won't. Now that Class 7 all is right, together again, King, I'm weird. sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Right. Uh... That was kind of getting kind of weird. Oh yeah, guys, I want skip through this. All right, now we have to load. I like how a half hour there's just been hot springs. Alright, skip. Uh, so be Milliam. I think it would be Milliam. It's gonna be kinda weird, not gonna lie. FBI is probably just staring at my screen right now. She would be a member of the intelligence division, but that didn't stop her from fighting for the people of the Highlands. She was really be concerned about what happened to Lecter and Chancellor Osborne to what happened. But you wouldn't know it from looking at her. She's still the same energetic member of her class she's always been. I wish I could be like her. I wish I could be that strong. Heidi ho, Reena Rooney! Reena Rooney. God damn it, Milliam. Rooney Rooney? Milliam! I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. Aw, why would you want to do that? I came in because the manager told me you were here. Finally, so more people are asking the manager. Really? At least some people are actually asking. Or like some others. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Hot springs in winter are so nice. That funny tingly thing you get in your feet once they start warming up feels so comfy. FBI, I'm, I'm behaving. Y yeah, true. No issue Winter's going on Winter's my here. favorite time of the year to use the springs because of how relaxing it is. But never mind that. This is weird. Us being in the springs together oh, this late at night is just... I mean... Oh, things getting too steamy for you? Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry. I know it's not every day you get to share a bath with a sexy, tall drink of water like me. Okay, one tall? Two FBI? Yeah, Rena screwed. Go to jail. Or do you want to hang out with Sarah or Emma instead? Can't blame you because they both got big boots. Nope, that is not what I'm saying at all. Well... Uh, Green probably you really is, know how to make here. people jump through hoops. Moving right along, what made you want to take a dip <laughs> in the bath so late at night anyway? It's like, uh huh. You sure. said before that you came in because you knew I was here. Any special reason? <laughs> Actually, I came to say thanks. Thanks? Thanks for what? I don't feel like I've done anything to deserve being thanked. Sure, you have. But I should have known you wouldn't have noticed. You did everything you could to pull through after we split up in Trista, right? And then you came all that way to get us. You even brought Claire, too. To me, you're the only reason all of us are even back together again, you know? Me? The only reason? I think that's a stretch. 
Besides, it was only because of all of you that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> I knew you'd say that, but I still think our class is only what it is because of you. You're kind of like our leader in a way. The whole reason we're together again is because you stood up and chose to fight. I just like how everyone just automatically pushed him. Oh yeah, you're the leader. So, thanks. I... You're the side of the class, you're in charge. <laughs> Doesn't fit you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that every I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're getting at, but hey, as long as you're not laughing at me. Sounds like something you should keep in mind, though. It's true that we're all thinking of you, always. We're bound together in a way that can't be easily broken. Don't worry, I will. And now that we're all together again, I'm sure that one day we'll be able to return to the Academy. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. <laughs> you know it! I... Rain's gonna get arrested by the RMP. Skip. So I believe we have to I believe I think we have all the adult characters now left. Tuval, Sarah, Claire, and Sharon I I think is an option. We would have had like forty five minutes of just hot springs, aren't we? Alright. Yep. The last bro time. So we have to be Lisa Prince Alpha and one of Mate Tumir to begin with if Prince Alpha had asked him to help. He saved me from danger the last moment I killed that magic knight in the mountains too. I'm really fortunate to have someone like that like him watching over my back. Especially when I'm sure he's busy with brace for business. Wish I could be like him. Wish I could be that strong. Hey there. How's the water? So, Toval? I'm surprised you're still awake. <laughs> Come on. I'm still young. You think I'd hit the hay this early? Mind if I join you? Not at all. Go right ahead. Uh, going to sleep early. That sounds nice. I don't know what that feels like, though. Ah, uh, you really can't beat the hot springs of Ymir. I've used them a few times since coming here, but it never gets old. Sounds like I picked the best season to be here, too. <laughs> you did, actually. Winter's my favorite season to use the springs, too. You really must like coming in here, though. Considering that we've already been in here once today, but I guess I can't really talk either, can I? <laughs> no, you sure can't. And I could get used to this, all right. Oh, yeah. Kinda overdue and maybe a little out of nowhere, but... Congrats on making it this far, and doing what you set out to do. A little out of nowhere is right. What brought this on? You've been through a hell of a ride since everything went down back in Trista, but... You've gotten through it all just fine. Not only that, you managed to get all of your old classmates, and Sarah, back together again. That wouldn't have happened if not for you. Uh, I think you're giving me too much credit. It was only thanks to everyone's support, yours included, that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> Don't think I did all that much, personally. And hey, I'll give credit where credit is due. Class seven's <laughs> only how it is because you're at its center. And that's a fact. Everyone believed that you'd rise up and fight. And they still believe it now. That's why they're here. So as someone who's been watching over you for a while now, I think you deserve a pat on the back for all you've done. I... Don't. <laughs> yeah, here comes the laugh. <laughs> what? Did I overdo it? Well, don't sweat it too much if it bothers you, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. 
So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, then make sure you don't forget it. The friendships you've made aren't the kind that can be broken easily. That goes without saying between us, too. I'll have don't you wank. Know. Don't worry, I won't forget. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality, both for ourselves and for the people who have supported us in getting this far. That's what I like to hear. I've got your back all the way, Reen. All right. Three more people. In the load. Whoa. All right, fast forward. Yep, Claire. I think it would be Captain Claire. It's surprising that she found a that to find she and the Royal Military Police have been helping the 4th Armored Division. Given the Chancellor she served is gone, I would be surprised if she was feeling lost right now. And yet you wouldn't be able to tell it from looking at her. She's all she could to help defend the village from, from attack. I wish it could be like her. I wish it could be that strong. So I was just looking at a message. Irene? Hey. Captain Claire? I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. Uh, oh, oh, no, you, you don't need to do that. You were here first, after all. Truth be told, I didn't think anyone else would be here so late either. Another person didn't ask. Still, while meeting like this may purely be a coincidence, it could also be a good chance for us to sit and have a nice talk. <laughs> Regardless, it's pretty cold out here, so I'm getting in before I get any colder. Uh, um... Okay. <laughs> the open air baths in the middle of winter are wonderful, aren't they? I'm usually one to settle for a quick shower, but this is so relaxing that I can barely bring myself to get out. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's my favorite time of the year to relax in the spring, too. That aside, I'm... I mean, it's an honor to have the chance to share the spring like with a lady you. like you, but... Wow, Rain. <laughs> There's no need to be so flustered. It wasn't all that long ago that I was a Thor student myself, you know. And fellow classmates help wash each other's backs. So how about it? Would you like me to help wash yours? Well... <coughs> no, that's quite alright. Damn it, Rain. And besides, underclassmen are the ones who are supposed to help wash the upperclassmen's backs, so that makes no sense. Okay, your mind's on the right track. Never mind. I mean, Go for it. not that I specifically want to or anything. I, I just, um, I... God damn it, Rain. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be teasing you like this, should I? Not when I stayed in to offer you my congratulations. Uh, thank you? May I ask what for? I think you've so earned close. it after all you've done. I've been impressed by you time and time again ever since we met. I've had the most like it's like the best he's been when it comes to women. Nope. You were able to survive the terrible battle in Trista. You braved the many challenges you've had to face since, and you were able to reunite with your classmates, like Milliam. That they are all gathered together here is a testament to your efforts, Reen. I think you're giving me too much credit. It was only thanks to everyone's support, yours included, that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> Please. I barely did anything to aid you at all. And I don't think I'm giving you too much credit. Class 7 is only how it is because you're the one at its center. They all believed that you would rise up and fight. And that's why each and every one of them are here today. You should be proud of what you've achieved, Reen. I... <laughs> oh, here comes a laugh. Uh, Reen? I I'm sorry, did I say something strange? <laughs> uh, oh, no, I wasn't laughing at you. 
It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time, so I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> if laughing at yourself helps, then by all means. But I don't think you need to beat yourself up over it. Still, it wouldn't hurt to always keep those thoughts at the back of your mind in the future. You've forged many amazing friendships since all this began, and they're not the kinds that can be easily broken. That goes for me, too. <laughs> I'll be sure to always remember. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality, both for ourselves and for the people who have supported us in getting this far. <laughs> That's the way, and I'll be right there with you. Oh wow, so multiple people actually have um, the two binding events you can go to. That's different. Huh, I wonder what I'm going to do at that point. Because I want to get all the character pages I can, so that's six uh, free time points already gone. Huh. It's going to be uh, something to think about. Next up, I believe, is either Sharon or Sarah. And with Sharon, it's going to be pure teasing. And my dog is snoring like crazy. Yep. Sharon. I think it would be Sharon. She sensed that Lisa was in danger in Nord and wasted no time in coming to her aid. She wouldn't be shrouded in mystery and member of Ouroboros, and whose definitely doesn't does don't seem like to be our allies. But she always puts us first, even by fighting against them. Wish I could be like her. Wish I could be that strong. I hope you don't mind me coming in. Just please tell me you asked, or you just knew because you're you. S Sharon! I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Yep, she In knew. fact, you're the reason I stopped by. Please, would you allow me the pleasure of washing your back for you? It got this rain. Excuse me? The pure teasing. Hot springs in winter truly are wonderful, aren't they? I can feel all of the exhaustion that's built up as a result of my work simply washing away. Y yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's my favorite time of the year to relax in the springs too. But both of us bathing in here together is really, really not a good idea. What's Elisa going to say when she finds out? <laughs> not to worry, Master Reen. Lady Elisa will be none the wiser about any of this. For now, in this moment, Simply think of me as your very own personal maid. <coughs> Should you require anything of me, do tell. I will do anything, anything, that you so desire. And it begins. Anything? Right. <laughs> no, I I'm fine, honestly. <laughs> My apologies. Your reactions are so charming. I can't help but tease you. The reason I came here is perfectly simple. I'd like to offer you my congratulations for all that you've done in the last few weeks. Um, uh, you would? Your efforts since the battle in Trista have been quite commendable. You've faced countless challenges since we parted ways there. And you've both stood up to and overcome them admirably. You found and rescued Lady Elisa. To say nothing of your other classmates, I believe the credit for Class 7's reunion lies entirely with you. I think you're giving me too much credit. It was only thanks to everyone's support, yours included, that I was able to do anything at all. Oh, I don't think my contribution was at all significant. I believe that Class 7 is only how it is because you are at its center. It was only because everyone was able to believe you would rise up and fight that they are all gathered here now. I got hiccups. As such, I think you are well deserving of praise. I... And here comes the laugh. 
<laughs> Master Reen, I do apologize if I caused any offense. But did I say something inappropriate? <laughs> uh, oh, no. I wasn't laughing at you. It just... I had no... It yeah, just we all knew what he so says I there. couldn't help but... <laughs> Is that so? In that case, I hope you'll always keep those thoughts in mind in the future. The kinds of bonds you have with those who care about you are too strong to be easily severed. And I do include the bond between us in that statement. <laughs> I'll be sure to do so. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know both for ourselves and for the people who have supported <laughs> I'll be sure to give you whatever aid that I can. Alright. Yep, there's the teasing. Now who's ready for some comedy? Because it's Sarah. And she will be the last one I'll do Laura again and skip that and we're good. I'm gonna do some bonding events. This is just gonna be the kinda like the hangout episode where we just chill and talk to people. Then we'll then the next event next stream we'll get down to it. It'll be pure bonding events. I think it would be Instructor Sarah. Without her intervention, I'm sure the account with those terrifying sign members would have ended very differently. She always watching over us, and even when we don't realize it. Her lifestyle might not be one we t to take after, but she's always there when we need her. Well, that's unrealistic. Toval was in that picture. We didn't bring him. Wish I could be like her. Wish I could be that strong. Reen? Hey. Uh, instructor, I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. No, don't worry about it. I thought the same exact thing, actually. Not person <laughs> didn't ask. A little late night one-on-one -on -one bonding with one of my precious students doesn't sound so bad, actually. Sounds illegal. And it's freezing out here, so I'm hopping in. Uh, oh, okay. FBI's the. Uh, our head guys can come after you this time, Sarah. Ah, oh, the temperature's just right. Sitting back in a spring like this with a bottle of warm, strong stuff would be heaven right about now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's, it's my favorite time of the year to relax in the springs too. But both of us bathing in here together is really, really not a good idea. I mean, the two of us alone here at this time of night's kind of... You know... <laughs> What's the big deal? I'm all covered up, aren't I? Although, I guess any boy <laughs> your age would feel a tad flustered sharing a hot spring with an older, beautiful woman like me. I hope there aren't any naughty fantasies going through that little head of yours. Oh, please don't ask me that. So the answer is yes. <laughs> well, I'll spare you another round of teasing for now. I stuck around to praise you, not to make you uncomfortable. Um, you did? You've done a really good job making it this far and doing what you have. Uh... You've had it hard since we were split up, but you've hung in there and made it through. And not only that, you managed to gather all of your classmates back together again from all over the country. That they're here now is all thanks to you, Reen. Trust in my head. Uh, I think you're giving me too much credit. It was only thanks to everyone's support, yours included, that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> oh, I know everyone else deserves some credit too. Still, it doesn't change the fact that Class 7 is only how it is because you've always been at its center. It was only because you rose up to fight, just like everyone believed you would, that you're all together again. So I thought that as your instructor, the least I could do was praise you for what you've achieved. I... <laughs> hey! What's with all the laughing? Even I can sound like an actual instructor sometimes, you know? No, you can't. <laughs> uh, oh, no. It just... I had no... It just made... So I... Aha! Uh -huh. So that's it. Well, in that case, make sure you don't ever forget it. 
The bonds you have with the people who care about you won't be broken easily, and I'd know, because I'm one of those people. I'll be sure not to. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality, both for ourselves and for the people who have supported us in getting this far. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I like to hear. That means you gotta go back to work, Sarah. Alright. Now we're just gonna go back, choose Laura, skip all that, and we'll begin our bonding events. Ow! My dog just scratched my oh, back of my arm. What the hell? I'm not moving your stomach, I'm streaming. I don't think she cares. Yep, here we go, set to this again. I wonder how many hot spring screenshots can we have for a possible thumbnail? The very first stream of this game was a hot spring screenshot. <laughs> Alright, we are back. Now we're actually doing things. So, basically, most. So there's like. People have double events right now, right? Except we only have seven th to do, so I'm gonna get like every single one I can get a character profile. Then I'll debate one more after that. So first up, it, I guess we'll handle you know, whoever's closer, and that would be Elisa, wherever she is. There she is. What are you doing here, Elisa? Mother told me I could find some tools in here, so here I am. I need them for work I'm going to be doing on the orbital bike. Wait, you know how orbital bikes work well enough to do that? Well, an engine's an engine, right? I should be able to tinker with it. I thought Andrika is done for us, I at least want to make sure she gets it the pressure's bike back in top condition. It would be nice if I gave her a hand. Need a hand in there? Sounds like a two-person job to me. And I feel bad making you all the work when Angelica left in my care. I figured you'd say that. I'd go smoothly with extra pair of hands, so sure. Alright, that's everything around the orbital engine taken care of. What would I do with being taken it for a test ride at some point, though? Oh, I shall order all the moving parts, too. Man, you're really amazing. I knew you were good with orbital technology and all, but I didn't expect you'd be able to do ma perform maintenance this well. All of this is just a stopgap, really. I have a few chances to look at it back at the academy, too, so I have a vague idea of what, it need what needs doing, and that's all. Doesn't make any less amazing in my eyes. One in the world you worked out with the what was wrong with that truck, even the new the model the mur murder we found. At first I thought it was just because you're part of the Ryanford family, but I feel like that's underselling you now. It must have studied like crazy to know so much. <laughs> well, I did spend a lot of time studying orbital technology, even before enrolling to the academy. I used my family name, however. I could get in order to visit RF factories and attend the lectures at the Institute of Technology. I'm more than confident I've made the most of every chance I get I had to study to burn my knowledge of that field. I have a feeling I know why you do all that too. Was it the rebel bell against your mother? Well, I can't deny it. Not to be a dead horse, but I felt like mother just stopped caring about us after my father passed away. I mean she stole the company from my grandfather and everything. How could you how could you do that to your own father? So I suppose you could say that something was my way of trying to sh show her up at at something, although at least. I see. So were you able to? Not in the slightest. Now that she's missing, this isn't the time to be thinking about my next act of rebellion either. You know what? That's fine by me. I made up my mind to focus on the future rather than the past for now. I've got to keep that promise I made to her in Ruhr after all. I'll be running the company before she knows it. I think she preferred that way, honestly. Rain. Huh? 
<laughs> look at you. You're so engrossed in the bike you didn't even notice all the snow building on top of your head. Still, I think you found the right way to approach things. I have to pick up a few pointers from you. Can't let myself get too wrapped in my past either. And that way we'll be able to, be take the to find the best paths for us each to take. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Come on, don't cry. Here, this will cheer you up. They met when they were children. Oh my god. Is that a bunny made out of snow? <laughs> and look, you got loads on your head too. Don't worry, you can follow me back to your mirror. So stay close, okay? Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? What, what, what's wrong? I can't believe I forgot. When I had to be out coming when I was a family as a kid, I ended up getting lost on the mountain. But just when I started to think about how I'd be lost there forever, a boy appeared out of nowhere. He led me all the way back to your mirror. That boy was you, I'm sure of it. That does ring a bell, actually. Even after that, it was supposed to be the whole thing with my power happened. So I kind of pushed everything else in the back of my mind. Weird. We really did meet when we were kids. I was only joking about it before, but yeah, we really, really did. I forgot all about it, too. Probably because it was scary memory for me. <laughs> I don't blame you. Still, you don't get coincidences like this every day. I'd be embarrassed to try and attribute it to something like fate, though. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe if we realize sooner, sure. It makes me heavy nose you all along. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. It's nothing, nothing at all. Um, anyway, let's finish up with this bike, shall we? Yeah, sure. They met with- I actually didn't do this bonding event the, my first time around. They actually met when they were kids, of course. We need to work together to finish the rest of the bike's maintenance, the two of them feeling somewhat awkward around each other due to the recent discovery. Upon their completion, they went to re return the tools to the Baron's Shorger study. Once they strengthen, level up. Alright. I can't believe we actually met when we were kids. But that doesn't change things much though, does it? And it's more important than the bonds we developed as much as class 7. Damn, Rain, even as a kid you were helping girls out. Alright, where to next? Alright, Fee. Guess she's right here. This dog's name is Pado, right? He's cute. Yeah, Dad raised him to be a hunting dog, believe it or not. He's a sway though. Looks like a smart one to me. I think it was really relaxing too. I'll stay with him a bit while I think about what we should do. Come think of it, it's just about feeding time. Wanna help me feed him? Sure. I like that. <laughs> Be right back. I'm gonna go get his food. How's that taste? Good? <laughs> Looks like he's wagging his tail. So I've not been able to spare much time for you, Arthur. You and Arthur, but though. Woof, woof. He says it's okay. Smart doggy. I'm convinced she can speak to animals. Can you see what dogs are saying or something? They're not just guessing based on how he acts and barks. Back in the core, I used to look after the military monsters a lot. Really? It's like an awful danger job for you to be doing. Why did you get been sometimes at first? After one of the other kids who showed me what to do, they stopped. The way you tell what your time there is, hard to believe the core you were in is one of the strongest. Definitely unusual by Yeager standards, I guess. The boss was pretty easy going, but it's always hard to tell what he was thinking. Remember what I told you at Matter Park, right? They taught me survival skills and all that? He never knew you were telling such traps and the art of close quarters combat. I can't imagine what living that kind of life day to day. But it's easy to see how you, you came to think of them as family. Yeah, we were family. So they all left me behind after the boss died. I just want to know why. Why did they leave me behind? Now that I might have a chance to, I don't want to let it pass me by. It won't be easy getting it out of them. Still. Hmm? <laughs> I think I even saw what you were saying this time. Trying to overthink it. Something along those lines. Hmm? There's no reason you're trying to find out alone. Now you've got all of us with you. That's why you want to know. We'll all make it work out. You will? <laughs> you're right. How could it not work out when I got you guys? Alright. I still want to talk to Xenia about why you left me behind. 
I'm sure class 7 is more important to me now. As long as I stay with you, I know I'll get my chance to ask them. Alright, next up is Laura. I mean, the air here feels clean. It's not hard to see why young Kafai is so fond of this village. I hope that I'm able to get the chance to bring Father and Claus here one day. We'd be happy to have them. And don't worry, I'm sure you have plenty of chances once the war's over. I hope so. It's better than another reason for us to hasten its conclusion. I'm so lost as to how, though. What should we do, I wonder? She definitely racked him brain over this. Maybe a break would do some good. Why don't we go somewhere to take a break? It's good to get a breather sometimes when you're stuck in a difficult problem. Hmm, that sounds reasonable. In that case, I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you escort me to your room? Whoa. What? what? Okay, ring. Guy, is he taking the initiative here? So this is your bedroom. It's quite something of an eastern feel to it. Fitting for a formation of young Kniffies. Is there anything here in particular represented the eight leave school? <laughs> I should have known. You call me off call me asking my room, but I figured that's what you're interested in. Hmm? Why wouldn't you be surprised? Oh, it's nothing. As for your question, I don't have that much, I'm afraid. Wait, actually I actually have some tea leaves Master Kafai gave to my dad a while back, I think. How about Go for some green tea? Really? I like that very much. This is great with fine. Oh, yeah, Seth, I got a drink right here. Coincidentally, it's sweet tea. This is a refined tea stew indeed. This is my first time tasting green tea. Maka let me sample the tea served at her class in tea house during the festival. It seems to have much more depth to its flavor and fragrance. <laughs> Mr. Kafai is a huge fan of this kind, apparently. He brought back from the east himself. He's always bringing gifts whenever he comes to visit, so he's popular among the locals. Even he everyone here likes him. <laughs> really now? I've yet to have an opportunity to meet him in person. I can easily see why he and Father get along so well. I'm sure I don't know where he is now. Nope, afraid not. The letter I received from him during our vacation here didn't specify. He, he's always been someone of a vagrant. He wanders the continent throughout the year, stopping off wherever he pleases. So while I couldn't tell you where he is, I'm sure he's just fine. I imagine so. If the room is to be believed, he's proficient as a blade as father, if not more so. Are you worried about your dad? I am. I'm trying to avoid admitting it publicly, but it's a fact. His skill is immense as ever, but given the various new weapons that have come into play during this war, Along with other people powerful nice as General Aurelia and then later from Ouroboros. Yeah, I can't blame you for being concerned under the circumstances. Still, all we can do in the meantime is keep going and do what we're able to do. So long as we keep that up, I'm sure we'll reunite with them in due time. Maybe. <laughs> no, you're right. In a sense, this is but another trial we must overcome to reach greater heights. Yeah, I never can overcome together as long as we're together. And yep, a lot. And yeah, she has two events, so I can't really talk to her again until unless I want that yet. So next up is yeah, let's do Emma. <laughs> it's wonderful to be back with Selene again. Now I can focus on how she acts from here on out. Not that we'll be. It will be a particularly easy decision. Yeah, we are glad that we have you weighing in on the matter, though. Oh, I should remember, there's something to buy from the shop in the village. Oh? <laughs> I can't tell you what it is. I'm afraid it's a secret. I don't know what she's thinking about, but it sure looks like she's happy about it. Okay, now I'm getting curious. I know something's not allowed, but you don't mind if I join you while you're shopping, if it's okay, I mean? I know the shop here pretty well, so I'm able to help you find whatever it is you're looking for. Really? That would be lovely. But you guys stay here, Selene. We're not gonna handle this on our own, so don't try even try to follow us. Hmm, <laughs> fine. Whatever, all the secrecy's creeping me out anyway. Hang on. Rita and Emma left a slightly sulky, Selene behind, and took off to the store to buy whatever it is Emma was looking for. 
Here we go. The colors looks just right, too. That's wool, right? I know you could knit. I used to do it quite often back home, actually. I've been, w I've been working on a scarf for Selene for a while now. For, as a sort of a present reunion present. It's almost done, too, but I ran out of wool, so I can even buy some more. Oh, really? That case when I finish in our living room. That way you should really keep working without her finding out any more about the surprise. Thanks. That sounds like an excellent idea. Thank you, Rain. After showing Emma's mansion living room, Rain decided to sit and accompany her as she worked, rather than enjoying the soothing warmth of the fire. Music notes. I made some tea, Emma. Wow, that looks great so far. <laughs> Why, thank you, Rain. I think this deep blue color suits her. Will really suit her personally. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. <laughs> Let's see how close the two of you are. Close? Do you really think so? She's certainly important to me, but at the same time, she's not exactly pleasant to me most of the time either. I think she means to get harmed by it. Don't tell her I've said this, but she was really worried about you the whole time we were separated. I know for a fact that she cares about you, even if she has a tough time putting into words. Really? <laughs> Thanks for telling me. We've been together since the day I was born, but I guess I still have a feeling a hard time reading her. Once I began training to become a fully fledged witch, she became my familiar. So in a sense, she's like a sister to me. Really? Kinda jealous. As far as things go, it's like you two completely be open with each other. When it comes to Elise, I always find myself holding back from saying what I'm really thinking. <laughs> you say that, I'm sure Celine is still keeping plenty of things from me. I can certainly be more open with her than I can with Via, though, at least. If you don't mind me asking, how are the two of you related anyway? Since you were something of a sister to you when I first found out her true identity. She's a sister in a sense that we're both trained to become witches together. I always admired, admired and looked up to her, both for her skill in witchcraft and her beautiful voice. Even now, I feel like I'll never be able to catch up with her in terms of raw talent. I see. Maybe you can, maybe you can. I can just keep trying, really. I suppose. What things are certain now? You won't be able to catch up to her in a day. You didn't know how to knit that scarf in a day, right? That took time. Catch up to Via shouldn't be any, feel any different. All you can do is keep trying to yourself. You put it that way. You're right. You have a point. Thank you for the encouragement, Rain. I feel a lot better now. Eventually, Emma finished knitting the scarf and promptly delivered it to Celine. Though she may not be putting words, it was obvious from her purring that she was very pleased. Alright. Next up... The Million. I'm super bored. I think I might check out the souvenir shop. What kind of stuff do you think they've got in there? Think it's cool? I'm about to have a major discussion about class's future. How can you be bored? Okay, don't answer that. But could you at least brainstorm something to contribute to the discussion? Haha, <laughs> nope. You know I'm never going to come up with anything. No matter what you decide, it doesn't change things for me. One way or another, I'm either going to keep on fighting with you guys. So you just pick a path and we'll bust it open. Good to know. Well, you do value, you do value your opinion. So you might want to think things over. Maybe look at some souvenirs will help clear our head. Tell you what, why don't I join you? I've been there tons of times, so I'll be able to recommend something really nice. Really? You're the best, Rain. Okay, let's go, go, go! Man, there's really a bunch of unusual stuff here. Very good selection for the place smack dab in the, in the, in the boonies. <laughs> That's partially thanks to Master Kafai. He always brings things when he comes to visit. And there's Manju, for example. The little confectionery item from the east that have been tweaked a bit. Whoa, these look really good. Think Lecter would like them? Oh, so he's the one you're buying a souvenir for. You got it. He brought me a little Mishi shot when he was over in Crossbell, so I want to give him something too. I kind of wanted to be something he can always keep with him over. That's going to be bad, like... Something with him over something that's going to be bad like food, though. That's a good point. Though he was missing, though. No one's heard from him since he was in Crossbell, right? Yeah, well... I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he's Lecter. Take more than a war to finish him off. 
the knight survives, so I can I can't imagine he wouldn't. He's just gonna show up like they like hi, and that would be that. Well at least you trust him, I guess. Then again, that makes sense. I mean you honorable would probably think of each other like siblings, right? Or I don't know, do you? No, if that's the case, we have a chance to Oswald your dad, maybe? Huh, <laughs> don't know. Never really thought about it. She was Gramps. I'm not sibling sure, but it's hard to say if someone feels like a parent when you've never had one. What? What does she mean she's never had any parents? What's going to happen to us on Buds now, though? Claire's got her job with the RMP that she can do even without Gramps around. Without him, there's a chance of me and my orders, me and all my omissions finished. I don't know. What I'm supposed to do, really. Not need a piece of his game board anymore. Don't think of it like that, Milliam. But let me say this even if you're not needed on his game board, you are needed by us. Not as a piece, you're a very important classmate and friend. Really? I can't tell what you should do with your life from here on, but what I can tell you is that we're here for you. And even, with, even if you don't uh, know what to do with yourself now, I'm sure you'll be able to figure things out eventually, with or without us. Huh? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Do you kind of fix things you guys will help me figure something out? I think I'm figuring stuff out. I'm gonna buy, I'm buying that manju. My son is googling, just looking at it. Aren't you supposed to be buying this souvenir for a lector? Well, whatever. She's happier now. Get some of those moves. I mean, by Millie Mo, a mirror, Manju, which she scarfed down in typical Millie fashion as he left the shop. Alright, now we need to go talk to Sharon, who's at the factory. Actually, you have any weapons? Oh. We do have stuff we can buy. Those are strange about ups. Actually, uh, yeah, it might be worth it. The Braver, you know, Stone Cracker is pure upgrade. Harpoon, pure upgrade. Steel Claw. Bell Rod. Damn, I'm starting to get low on money. See what you all doing to me? Uh, how much do I have, Sepeth wise? Not that much, actually. Uh, here, I'm gonna get some money real quick. Yeah, 50 grand, that should do it. Alright. Uh, anybody mass reports? No. Now for armor. Looks like pretty much everyone needs uh, some armor here. Jilly though by a lot. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, that's it. All right. Actually, I have any good. Are oh, these I think are like, really good? Not really. Yeah, everyone's face plates. Here, you take this one. Uh Elliot, here, take this one. Laura Machias. Oh you already have it. And uh Useless. Fee. Gaius. Million. Oh, so Sarah has a gold cover. Oh, she has a, br a bracer. Now let's give her the bracer one. 
uh, her and two of all get the Brisa ones. She can stall MP. Actually, that's kind of cool. The rifle cover ass. Yep, that works. Do some shopping, Sharon? That's right. Since you all be gathering for discussions being swings, I thought I might help out in the kitchen. I also thought I could prepare some food for your father, seeing as your mother has an other business to attend to. It's awfully generous of you. Thanks. With several old Bruce members having recently revealed themselves to us, I can't help but assume they're up to something. Like, like you never read, no matter what happens, my alliance will always be lie with you and your classmates. Please ensure that whatever you decide on this afternoon is something you do without regret. Sharon. I'm sure we will. I'm glad to have your support. <laughs> Till the end of time. It's great to know she's got her bags, but maybe maybe she's still cooking for Dad. Maybe I can help her out with that. Well, even if you are looking to help out, listen to me, I can help you with cooking for my dad. Might as well try to pay him back at least a little bit for all those years of love and devotion, right? <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm sure your father would be overjoyed to hear you say that. As soon as I'm done shopping, we can head over to the kitchen. Together, Reen and Sharon walked to the mansion. They seeing that Reen's mother was out, they, start, they started making a hearty meal for his father. Are you making a mere style borscht? You're all making some borscht? I can't pronounce that right. Sorry, I'm not Russian. I don't know what the pronunciation of that is. Borsh. Hang on, let's see if I can... Let's see here. Borsh. I know it's a Russian food. Let's see, what's the pronunciation of it? Borscht. Oh, wait, that's the British pronunciation. No, I'm with the American. Borscht. Good idea. It's got plain vegetables. That should be great for warming him up to boot. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. All of the protein in the meat I'll be using it to help accelerate his recovery as well. Master Moon, can I try to trouble you to chop up the vegetables? If you would, I'll set the if you would, I'll set them about preparing the meat and seizing the soup. Sure. Green cooking over here. Whistle. It sounded like these seems like any, no any other maid. She's back to watch her cook us for us in the dorm. It's hard to believe that she's actually in force of old brew sometimes. Ow! Is something wrong? Haven't you sliced your finger? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't pay more attention. I ain't cut it too deeply, so it should be fine. Oh no, that won't do at all. Would you hold still for a moment? I'll stop the bleeding. She's going to the... Yup. Sh Sharon, what are you... This is so awkward. There, that should do the trick. Sh Sharon, I'm not sure it's a good to start sucking on people's fingers out of the blue like that. Any particular reason? Hmm? I've been here at Bandage, so please wait in the adjacent room. She's messing with me again, isn't she? <sighs> hey, my dog broke up again. Good morning. And she's going back to sleep. There we are, all better. Please leave the rest of your work for me. Just give your finger time to heal. Uh, probably right. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You need to be sorry, Master Ring. You made a valuable contribution as it was. I have perfect memories of Lady Lisa's younger days, too. Whenever she fell and scraped her knees, she always thought crying for me to come and help her. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, I can picture that's how embarrassing she'd be if she didn't she was telling people this. Come to think of it, you've been working for the Rockford family for a while now, haven't you? Seven years, in fact. It's shortly after Mr. Ryford passing. I cannot begin to thank Madam Chairman ear enough for giving me such a chance when she did. I didn't think so kind as I was able to begin a new life under her employee. I mean, she, she, ne you never been me before she hired you then? What were you doing for that? Oh. As a new death suspect, I lived as an enforcer. 
Lucian couldn't be all was, was what first led me to her. She was in no time in trying to hire me. I served her in both capacities concurrently after that. We'll find main executives who are going to hire Agent War Burroughs. She never ceases to amaze, huh? She certainly doesn't. Nonetheless, it was thanks to her that I was able to find a new path of my own. It was too late for me to turn back and change what's already been done, but she was willing to give me a, d a different future. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I was simply thinking out loud. Regardless of what happened in the past, my love for Ron for family would never waver. What was my devotion to Class 7? As Serene, I shall continue to do all that I can to serve you. Thank you. I know we can always count on you. And everyone else knows that too. Hope you can always stay fondly in your thoughts, Sharon. After the conversation was finished, Shane returned preparing the meal for Baron Schwarzer. After helping, he couldn't. After having help, he could until his mother returned the ring that left him to finish by themselves. Oh, hiccups, this shouldn't get me. Alright. Then we have one more bonding point, that's pretty much whoever we want to do. So let me see who has it. Claire, Laura, Emma, and then most of the guys with Sarah. Actually, pretty much all the guys. Let me see, what, what bond fence do I get? It looks like guys might be good to you because he learns a new move. But he's not going to be on the team much either, so that's something I gotta think about. Uh, I guess pretty much, I'm between uh, Claire or Laura at this point. But first, yes, invite everyone. I'm sure there's only going to be those four though, that's what I'm scared of. Oh, uh, yep, so I gotta keep like rotating who it is. Damn it. Oh, I got all them done. Oh, okay, we have Laura, we can heal up real quick. Many of them just having fun. I think I may have gotten everyone. Alright. Well, I got most of what I could. Nonetheless. Uh, shit. Hang on, is there any foods that I missed? Hold up. There's a quest. I'm just reading, give me a sec. Oh, so guys will learn that move if he levels up enough anyway, so that's not even... a thing. So I'll just, I'll do this new boarding course real quick. Let's see, my original... My best time was 56 seconds. I missed one flag. Ha! See if I can beat it this time. Oh, no. Oh. That's not good. Come 
Oh. Got all the flags, and I beat my old time. I did it! Even with that mess up. I'm gonna see if I can get a better time because I did that mess up. See if I can get a better uh, result. close. Oh yeah, killed it. Even beat my old time again. That, that's what I call I did it. happiness. Alright, finish. Nice work. That was, a, that was an expert level course too. Oh, huge surprise. Go ahead and take it. Oh, take this too. It's a new board that's kind of real popular among the youngsters. Select board. The course menu is now available. The difference between boards is purely cosmetic, so feel free to choose based on personal preference. Now, make sure the key to course is maintained. If you like boarding again, just come on by. So, anyway, well, see you later. I'm gonna do Claire, because she's the only person I, ha I haven't done that I kind of want to talk to. Hmm, couldn't clear something wrong. Hello, Rain. It's nothing major. I just an update from my men that contains some information I personally found relevant. Oh, well, I won't pry. But at the risk of sounding kind of saying, try not to push yourself too hard. In case one of those few changes, you won't get the rest. Hmm, <laughs> I appreciate the concern. So, you have bigger things to worry about than my well being. Like this future for Class 7, for example. With the town's defenses as solid as they are, now's a perfect time to sit back and figure that all out. She's putting on a brave face, but I can tell she's more exhausted than she's laying on. Well, since you're so well defended, why don't we both take a little time to unwind? We have billiards and phoenix wings if you're interested. What do you say? Well, given how many people we have trying to keep the town safe, sure, let's keep on that offer. She's gonna kick her ass, isn't she? Are we playing nine ball or are we playing so straight up? Ball. Oh, and she cleared the table. Oh, you're playing nine ball. I can only pocket all the balls in one shot. Fortunately, I've they all move exactly how I calculated they would. I'm sorry. I've ended the game before you had a chance to take a shot, haven't I? The uh, thing about games like this is just <laughs> is like the kind of thing that you'd be good at. I walked into a bear trap the moment I laid you. Granted, I should at least try to hold back a little. Huh? Sorry. I could have done a better job making the game more enjoyable for both sides. All the while leaving a certain elements up to chance to keep things interesting. <laughs> that lines up right with my impression of him too. Why was it pecking for a trickster? Still, I wish I was a better player. I'd be able to put half a decent fight in that case. Why well, don't I give you a few pointers while we're here? You don't mind? Oh, it teaches you some valuable skills that are, that are guaranteed to help. The good use of them will be down it will be down to you, but you should that I can play it improve your score while playing. Well, you sure? I don't mind. Clint could then start teaching Ring how to play more effectively. Bring explanations on complicated issues and techniques sound simple. Go through every step with limit limitless kindness and patience. Things that you don't improve an astonishing amount in a relatively short amount of time. Captain Claire, come teach me! I need to shoot better. I would love to be able to shoot better. Well done. That's nine ball pocket as well. Thanks, to be honest, this is the first time I've pocketed all the balls without making a single mistake. You are a natural teaching. You wouldn't be able to do anything if, we if you weren't such a capable pupil. If you have any requests, feel free to ask. I'm happy to keep practicing with you if you're up for it. Really? You're a kind person, Captain. Why did you say that? Well, it's true. You went your way to help us countless times on our field studies. And now you've chosen to accompany us here while attacking the village. 
seems to forget something to remember on P or an Iron Blood. It feels like you're always there, watching over us in some shadows. I really do appreciate it. I think you're saying how much I've really done. I'm a Thor's graduate as well, after all, so I can't help but look out at others from the academy. In some ways, I still want to act like I'm still there, looking at my classmates like an upclassman would. For well, whatever your reason, reasons, but this is the fact I'm so grateful. I can't say for sure, but seeing you, seeing as a younger sister, but if I hold the one, I have a feeling she would just be like you. Oh, that was kind of awkward. Oh. Hey, never mind. Go read. C Captain? W what was that all about? <laughs> Don't mind me. Please, try not to think of it as nothing more than a meaningless gesture. Well, if you say so. Regardless, I intend to continue doing whatever I can to aid you in the future. My primary duty may be to serve the world in really ways and carry out that world of Chancellor Osborne. I have no reason to believe that I'll, I'll ever be changing anything other than an ally to you in Class 7. With any other way. I know that would I know that any help you give will go for a long way for us. Damn, right, you got a hug? Rain, while Rain suddenly knew a promise of a sudden embrace, he still wasn't able to press the subject further. Conversation now over, they suddenly made their way back outside. Well, Rain, damn. Alright, so we have a situation. There's a hidden quest, but it requires fishing. Now, I did try the fishing game in the first game again. I managed to do it. I caught one fish. But I don't know how, eh, how this will go. Hey there, congrats on finding your class back together. Glad to see you all safe too. I don't think I've seen the kind of people who would go down easily. Heh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. The hard part's still yet to come, though. We feel to be united, but now when you sit down inside, what we need, exactly is we need to make a difference? Well, good luck with that. By the way, completely unrelated, would you mind if I ask you a small favor? A favor? It's not that often you ask for favors of me. You see, we've got a noble called Annabelle staying here at the moment. But I haven't seen her since she left to go fishing yesterday. She's been gone the whole day. That's right, she always seems to be crazy about fishing, and this is the first time she's gone this long. It's the middle of winter too, so I'm a bit worried about her. If you're free, I would look for if you want to look for her. Yeah, I can help you out there. Our discussion is a little bit later. If you want to fish, I'm guessing she'd probably be somewhere up on the valley behind the village. That's what I figured too. The hard part is finding out how far she's pat down the path she's gone. I don't think it leads either. So you're just going to comb comb it from top to bottom. Alright, I'm sure I can bring her back as soon as I can. Alright. Let's do this. Yep, call friends. Let's make a team real quick. Damn, our roster is trying to get big. Oh, I can have as many like the supporters I want. Hell yeah. Uh, actually. I'm, I'm like the uh, adults. So I, I get my A team. Claire. Yeah, Claire and Sarah. That'll work. She, she is not over here. There's a penguin. Ha! <laughs> here Leon. I go. Sit. Okay. Eliminating targets. No problem. Fire. Now's our chance. You're open. One down. <laughs> Onward! My turn. Let's switch her off to Claire. Leave this to me. Ah. My turn. Link up with Claire. And okay, bone. it's safe for now. Now's our chance. All Let's right, get triple him. advantage. 
Here I go. Beat, just beat ha. the shit out of him. Onward. Ha. No problem. Ha. Now. An opening. Onward. See ya. Now's our chance. All right. Gotcha. At least, like, come on, kill oh. it. There we go. Here I go. Sit. All right. There. I can do this. Ha. Now's our chance. An opening. There we go. Can't complain with you on my. All right. Sit. We got this. Let's move. Ha! Oh. Understood. Ah. Oh, these things must be very right. low level. Y yeah, they're only 42. My turn. Ha! We should keep going. Damn. This place doesn't work as a grinding spot really anymore. Let's see, she's not in this area. So I had to guess. Oh hey, this one wants to fight me. Let's move. Second four. Gale! Opening. You're finished. Onward. Ha! No problem. Ha! Now's our chance. An opening. And there we go. Kick. Let's head up here now. Hi, monkey. Sit. Now's our chance. Let's get him. My turn. Sit. Now's our chance. An opening. Onward. One monkey dead. Ah. I can do this. Fire. Now. An opening. Leave this to me. See ya. My turn. Ha. Understood. Ah. No problem. He's more sorry, like, what the hell? They're kicking our ass. My turn. Ha! Let's move. Ha! Now's our chance. An opening. Onward. There. I can do this. Ha! Now's our chance. An opening. And it's over. Can't Lord complain with up. you. Not bad. Over here. Ha! The advantage. Oh. My turn. Uh. Yeah, it's probably good yeah. enough. Onward. Ha! Yeah, no these things problem. do not have a high level at all. care of them all right Sit. seize the moment and then now we finally get a little action in this uh part second four Gale. Hit, hit them all good job right. brain I hope this not misses. Leave this to me. See ya! Now's our chance. Gotcha. Let's move. Now, Rain, it's time for you to end it. Yeah. Okay, it's safe for now. All right. We you got can't this. run from me. My turn. 
Ha! All right. There. Right. Fire. Now's our chance. An opening. Leave this to me. Die. My turn. Another one dead. Set. All right. Ha! <laughs> Good work, everyone. All right. Here she is. Ha! I just sliced her in half with my sword. Oh my, already tired? Oh yes, you certainly are. Any foot should be after fighting all night long. Catch you. Come on, come on, come on. Drat. Took my bean and swam off. Again? Why, why, fish? Is your fishy stomach a bottomless pit of hunger? I know that we find her here. I can't believe she's, she's been fishing all night. Then again, I totally can. Excuse me, Annabelle? I think it'd be best to return to the mirror and get some sleep. Seeing how tired you clearly are, even to fall into the water, I did think what might happen. Oh, hogwash. So close to finally catching it. I can already taste the deliciousness fill filleted, on filleted body. A few should go back empty handed. That is simply unthinkable. Fashion is commendable, but I hardly like Gretchen was wise. She's still focused on fishing, she's not seeing things clearly. There's nothing we can do. Oh, I know. What if I caught the fish that you're after in your place? Would that work for you? Oh, a fishing valve is what you want, is it? I'd be happy to accept. Let's see who can catch the little devil first, shall we? That's not what I... Oh, sure, game on. Hope I can actually catch it. Sounds like a big one. first. Dang it. Alright. See if I can do this. I only have one rod. But since it sounds like a big one, I don't think my rod is uh, big enough. That could be sounding wrong. So I'm gonna see if I can get, a, uh, get another one. Uh, at the trade. So I have a feather rod, and it's not, it sounds like a big one, so I don't think my uh, rod can do anything against it. Turn to your mirror. Okay. Uh, does any of these work? No. Alright. Uh, trade. No. Uh, wait, well, what? Contact lenses. You don't need glasses. Just to see what it is. Dang it. Just get a fishing rod. again see, just in case nope a lot of places I sell stuff tavern maybe possibly no all right uh, foot bath and valley yeah kind of screwed We'll see how it goes. If I can't get it, I'll just call it quits and I'll miss out on the AP. Not that big of a deal, but I would like to have the AP. Alright. Let's try it. They're gonna watch me really suck at this. Come on! Ah! 
My fingers are starting to get tired. Come on! Come on, you bastard! No, no, no! Yes! Not what I had in mind. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. God, it's huge! Did you catch it? Did you? Did you catch the mighty blue devil? I don't know, boy, it's gigantic! Come on! That ain't a fish! <laughs> you caught it! You really caught it! This is the loose of blue devil! This is not the time for rejoicing! Stay back! That's a monster! What? Why? I can't even actually everyone. got it. I'm surprised. I can do this. All right. Turn. That did All nothing. Right. So this this type of uh, situation is. Now is the time to attack. All right, Understood. Acknowledged. Here I go. Uh, flame impact. Burn to ash. Fall. Come on, Laura. You're, you're buffed up strength wise. Radiant Wolf! To do pretty good amount of damage. Yep. Right. Now, this will use Heavenly Gift. What? Yeah, why not on those two? And Rain gets bitch macked. Let's move. Hmm. Burn to ash. Fall. Now. Let's go, everyone. Understood, sir. Ha. 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 All right. All right. Ha. At least we get some action in the stream, Bring right? Down. Now! Gotcha! Now it's frozen. Right! Light! Leave this to me! Uh, oh yeah, you don't have uh, anything yet. Burn! Brightly! Overdrive! Sia! They're off guard! Got you! Here I go. Huh. Come on. Well, nope, I didn't do enough. My turn. Blade of Light! Come! They're off guard! Got you! Come Be on. gone! Yes! And it's over. Our fighting was in perfect sync. When I could keep up, at least. At least the level's up. Huh? Thank good. Annabelle. Anyway, it wasn't easy, but I managed to bring her back. Something's got pretty hairy out there. I do apologize for putting all the danger like that. I thought I could handle myself in dangerous places, but my overconfidence may have been my undoing this time. First of all, I learned anew just how dangerous it can be to lead a shelter of the town. Well, she understand that suppose it's all that matters. Yep, no one got hurt, and she gets what she wants, what she did wrong. But you help me out here by finding her. Here, take this little something from me. Are you sure I can have this? Sure as can be. Nothing that special anyway. In that case, I feel as though I should give some kind of award as well. It would be much noble if I didn't play someone for their kindness. Prankster? T thanks. Thank you for saving my life. I'm even careless this time. Next time, I should have fully prepared for the possibility of being attacked by a fish I catch. She didn't learn a damn thing, did she? Oh boy. Looks like it'll take more time to brush with death to get her to go off her exclusive, her, uh, her dangerous fishing excursions. Uh, let me see what ornament it has. Just so I can look at it. Oh, it just has flame tongue. 
And so you should make a peculiar dish from cooking. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, sorry, heat wave. I need that. I need that cooking dish. Give him tear. I'll figure out how to put together everyone else. But that's what I'm going to call it, everyone. Thanks for showing up. And this was kind of like a boring stream. Nothing really happened. But we did get those um, hot spring scenes. We got our bonding events done. Things will go down next stream. I promise that. Things will go down. Anyway. It's, thank you guys for showing up. And those who show up afterwards and watch the video. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some Scarlet Nexus.